Oh, that's uh, that's pretty nice. Uh, oh, oh, it crashed. Oh. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Creating Crimson's Fantasy, a new series focused on presenting the joy of game development for everyone, not just game devs. I want to thank you for joining in. Let's get right into the first episode. Now, in this episode, I want to talk about the design and fundamentals of the game, what we might expect, and more. Before starting off this episode, I went ahead and started a new Google Drive folder and created a game design document. For those who don't know what a game design document is, or in short, GDD, it's essentially a document going through all of the key features and details of the game. I also went ahead and started a Trello. Trello is essentially a task management site. I'll be using it as a roadmap to track the project's progress. Both of these will be publicly accessible by the community. I'll have the links down in the description. For those who don't know who I am, my name is Crimson and I'm a live streamer on Twitch.tv. I have more than four years of experience in graphic design and game development, and now I'm bringing all of my accumulated skills together for entertainment and content creation. Inspired by titles like Dark Souls, Sword Art Online, and Zelda Breath of the Wild, Crimson's Fantasy is a single-player role-playing game focused on action, combat, and progression. The goal is to make a fun, hardcore game that viewers can play for free and contribute to throughout the series. So whenever you have an idea, feedback, or whenever I ask a question, feel free to comment down below or join our Discord. The link is down in the description. The game takes place in a medieval fantasy world, starting the player off as a peasant and then working their way up to become a badass. The goal of the game is to primarily have melee combat, but I may add in bows and magic if it's requested enough. The player finds themselves stranded on an island with nothing to their disposal. The player will slowly explore and find their way to a village, which will become their main hub. The hub will play a big part in the gameplay and story. The player will be able to find quests, merchants, and more. They'll even be able to upgrade the village and its inhabitants. I've chosen a simple art style for this project, a stylized low poly art style. The purpose of this art style is to be able to quickly create content for this series. It'll also look pretty nice. A big focus will go into lighting and effects. I've created a mood board to basically give us an idea of what kind of colors, theme, and design choices we may make for the game. Throughout this project, we'll be creating and programming new features for the game. So far, we have a small list of things that we want to include in the game. This will grow as the series goes on. Starting off, the most important thing, fast-paced action combat, an upgradable hub, boss fights, enemies that have different tiers like low, mid, and elites, NPCs and shops, chests and loot, bounties and expeditions, equipment, professions, and more. The primary things that will have the most attention is the combat and progression systems, because those are my favorite things in RPGs. This is the type of game that I would love to play, so I want to make sure that it's long lasting. I'm primarily making this game because I want to make a game that's fun and entertaining, whilst also showing off the development to a broad audience. I want people to laugh and enjoy the game in a vibrant way, while also being able to show off their progress and feedback with the first community. Something I've chosen to include in the game is a companion based off of my logo. Uh, for those who can't tell, that's a raccoon. The raccoon and most if not all of the NPCs will be voice acted by me. The companion that you'll be playing with will assist you throughout your adventure. You'll be able to steal things, attack enemies, distract people, and much more. A very important part of the series is the fact that you'll be able to contribute your thoughts and feedback into the game as well. You have many places to talk with the community and me, my Twitch, Discord, or right here in the comment section. I want you to throw any ideas you have, and I'll make sure to read it. It might have a chance to make its way into a video. That's basically it for the introduction video. We talked about the design, a rough draft on the story, some basic features, and the goal for this series slash project. I want to thank you for watching the first episode of Creating Crimson's Fantasy. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. This is actually the second version for the introductory video, so if you want to see the rough behind the scenes version, let me know. Don't forget to check out my Twitch channel for a whole lot of fun. I'll be announcing development live streams starting on episode two. That's it though. I hope you have a fantastic day. See you later.